so much upheaval, of course, for everybody in Ukraine. And another change he's made, he's gone all Babich on this and decided that during fight week he turns into the Hulk. And that is how he likes to be known and announced, which is a result for us, Macklin, because Shevard Zutsky, it's not the worst surname that we've had, but it's not the easiest either. Yeah, I was going to say, the Hulk will do for me. <laughs> so in those Ukrainian... Colours, Hulk on the left-hand side there. High guard, and this is how he does it. As I say, shuffles in. And he is a big, solid target. Bacoli against Yoka dominated from beginning to end. It was a tremendous performance. He came in as a replacement for Carlos Takam, who we saw beat Yoka in Paris. Not that long ago and he struggled to get a fight off the back of that Bacoli but he's now signed with Boxer and he's beginning to call names Usyk, Dubois, Joyce, Dillian White who's here tonight, Gilles Zhang he knows that the time is now if he really wants to make an impact and what he's good about Bacoli Matt is that he can seem to do it more than one way he can keep those hands busy vary up the weight to punch yeah, I mean, this is the probably the most patient I've ever seen him, where he's just boxing on the outside off the jab. He, I've seen him before be really effective at walking his guy down and just constantly touching him, constantly never letting his opponent rest and really overwhelming them with the, the sheer intensity and the pace. And hop there with a short right hand. Just trying to pop that one off. He's been building steadily. Had his first couple of fights in South Africa, actually. And Ukraine, Bulgaria, Germany. Only hooking up to the head, then going down to the body. There is a little bit of body to attack there around the back of the elbows. They flare out from the rib cage of the Hulk just a little bit. Yeah, good fight Bacoli, intelligent, you know, just keeps touching that body. You know, he doesn't, he's not looking for power in these shots, but just touching. Little stabs the body, little left upper cut. You know, that he's, and he's good at kind of just pity patter, tappy shots, and then finishing on a hard shot. And it's, they're the shots that hurt you more than someone that's loading up with every shot. You, you kind of become acclimatized to the power when someone's just constantly touching you, and then they suddenly plant their feet and really dig one in you know it's twice as effective good use of the uppercut towards the end of the round here from Bacoli Shevardzutsky just forced onto the back foot and he's under pressure here the Ukrainian first minute he was having a look and then the punch output just increased in the second minute then again in the third minute and by the end of the round the Hulk was having to work quite hard he was having to return fire and I think that's what Bacoli will look to do here just keep that punch output on point as you say doesn't really load up with anything so it's not taking too much out of him no he's really good he's kind of got it down to a fine art really where he just he, he's well within himself he's not burning up much energy at all but he's constantly touching you keeping you busy keeping you off balance and uh, he's just very good at draining your battery wearing you down slowly picking you apart nice one too for Bacoli about 20 seconds ago got a good distance on it nice biting pull. looking for the uppercut followed by the left hand and down goes the Hulk and that was as quick as a flash right hand down the middle with the uppercut flash the left hook of it 
and all of a sudden this 20 stone man was on his back without any real idea as to what had happened a couple of minutes remaining in the round the uppercut gets through there from Bacoli and the Hulk just looking to set his feet and let his own hands go another uppercut from Bacoli yeah lovely uppercuts here beautiful left uppercut a good right uppercut as well brilliant stuff from Bacoli really good at just picking the shots finding the gaps like you say doesn't load up doesn't try and force it just keeps touching keeps opening his own uh the, the defense is up of his oh good that's our left hand again it caught him high on the head and just as the hulk was opening up he got caught and he's in real trouble here we're only halfway through the round he's already been down he's been hit with an awful lot the referee will have a close look here i think because the knees just went again there and he's eating that uppercut and Bacoli showing no sign of letting up here. This is a really punishing round for the Hulk at the moment. It really is. And if he can get through this final minute of it, then that will be a decent effort by him, to say the least. Yeah, well, another minute for him to get through this. But here, this is Bacoli just raining the shots in again, just letting him go. Lovely left uppercut through the middle. Good body shot, too. Really working him over here. Trying to let that right hand go there. Shevardjutski but can't land it and Bacoli just utterly utterly relentless he looks in good nick at 20 stone as well he's put on a bit of weight for those last three fights but he doesn't seem to be carrying too much spare the conditioning is great look at the punch output there and he's all at sea here really the Ukrainian and I give him credit for hanging in there because it looks like he's going to make it towards the end of the round but this is an absolute shellacking he's taken in the second and a minute between rounds, I'm not really sure if it's going to be long enough, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, a, a, lot, a lot of these are arm punches, but it's the arm punches then which, you know, set up the heavier shots. Good body shot there as well from Bacoli. The problem that he's got, Shevardnadze. It's just the sheer volume of Bacoli. He's going to get through. And that's the problem. He finds those gaps. He finds those little angles. Some of them get through clean. Some of them half get through. But the gloves just cannon into the head and they have some kind of impact. And then when he looks to throw himself, that's the really demoralizing thing for him in that previous round. When he looked to try and set his feet and throw, then it just gets worse because it's easy for Bacoli to find that gap. Yeah, I mean, because he throws so many and, and they're light shots, they're arm punches, but the accuracy is so good at them, you know, because he's not, he just literally just pops them out, pops them out, and then after that, he finds a rhythm and he touches you, and you're, if your head's been knocked up, next thing you can't see the other shot coming in. And the referee just steps in there, 